What's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com. It's windy out here. Check this out. So we're in the car. Let me turn the radio off. Get me in trouble, huh? So check this out. We're in the car. I've got my... We're in a crashed leaf. I got my can controller here running on my computer, which is running uh, this. Wow. What is going on? Okay. Well, anyway, I'm running this piece of code over and over and over, as you can see, and it's writing to the car, and I've got it plugged into the CAN bus, and it's faking the extra battery data for that second CPU that is basically missing. Okay, I've cleared all the errors. Basically, if you look here, I've got system EV reduced power. Okay, if I go in here, and I clear the TDCs, and I clear this one, you'll see that message actually goes away. See how it went away? Now I have full power. See where it says E-pedal off? Now if I hold the brake and I turn on the E-pedal, which is here, now, check it out, the E-pedal is on. It's active. Ah! So now, basically, if I take the brake off and I let go of the brake, Okay, it's in park, put it in drive. It's hard to do one-handed with my... There we go. So we're in drive and the E-pedal's on. If I let go of this, it should stay still. See that? So it only goes... I know you can't see we're moving. I'll tap it again, watch. So the car is stopping on its own. That brake is being applied by itself because the e-pedal is on. Can't really get a wider angle. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see, I'll just pull over here so you can see what I'm talking about. So if I go over here, I do not need to touch the brake. The car will come to a stop by itself. Okay. Well, if I drive this thing, E-pedal is on and working, and I should have full power. That's seat belt, don't worry. So if I let go, it comes to a stop. If I go, it goes. So basically, I fixed the E-pedal by faking the data on my screen. Now you can probably see it, we're not in the sun. I'm running this loop, which is just sending data out. Don't know if you can see my foot, but I'll do it this way. So I'm not touching the brake, and the car is coming to a stop. By faking the data. <laughs> yes. Oh! Well, it went out of E-pedal. The error came back and it went out of E-pedal. That was funny. Good thing I was in the car. All right, so I still gotta figure that out maybe, but it is it is sort of functioning. More to do, let me park this thing. All right. Got it all reset. I'm gonna try to regen and max power this thing, so. Yeah. I'm gonna drive it out here and we'll back up. I'm gonna go that way. After I have a new park break. Bye bye. There goes the car. Oh, Tesla. There's the car. What? Woo! Bye-bye! What's up, everybody? Russ with RWResearch.com here. Guess what time it is? Time for a new video. I uh, hear noises. Basically, I've been working really hard to get some stuff done. And this thing is a giant mess and a giant disaster and it looks hilarious. Um, we stripped the leaf as you guys have seen it. The front is basically missing. I have reattached the radar so that we can get proper testing done here. This side of the doors are still good. 
and most of the back is missing but I do have um, the sensors and the side radars they all still work even though the one got pretty crunched uh, it does work that's a problem yeah so this one actually did get hit and kind of you can see how bad the metal is but this guy still works fine it says really fragile be careful don't drop it and then it's got hit with the car it's fine then the radar sensors for the bumper are still attached the camera is still on the back basically everything in this car is still complete and, and we are trying to figure out a few solutions to a problem so this is an off-the-shelf can bridge and then there was firmware written by Della the Great okay and um, you can see I've got one right there that I've programmed now if you guys remember and maybe you don't I'll give you a quick refresher this car this is a 2015 Nissan Leaf this is a 2025 Nissan Leaf this battery pack was smashed and I had to fix the LBC the lithium battery controller okay it was down there I fixed it um, in order to fix it there was a trace on the board that was bad that was connected to the second processor on the board okay and it sent out messages that this car needed in order for it to work hundred percent correctly so we actually ended up taking this whole thing apart taking the battery out putting the whole thing back together after we fixed it tested it and made sure it worked and sure enough it did then I went ahead and stuck it in this car and I've been driving this car I've got almost 7,000 miles or more by now on this car on that battery and it's working great however I wanted to use the old battery on this new car for testing and other things well guess what we need that same dual process capability so after recording all the can messages from this one which does have a can bridge and it, it's down there in the floorboard and looking at the messages coming from this LBC I found one message which is 1C2 and it's a rolling counter it goes from 50 to 5F every 10 milliseconds so what I did is I modified the can bridge software all right to basically write that information right there so I just added this snippet of code into the can bridge and it worked perfect no more errors on this car it thinks it has a second battery processor the the second processor just sends out a rolling signal and I can fake it with this inject it into the signals here bada boom bada bing good to go so now this car works 100 percent if I turn this car on so as you can see we still got the battery error EV service system and the battery charge is low however what we don't have is the reduced power and my e-pedal is working now so that works perfect originally you couldn't do that turtle mode is gone all the functions still work so there's still some weird things going on but at the end of the day I was able to get the old battery to work on this car now what we got to do is actually get information back from this car and then try to reverse engineer it so I can send that out to my other project that I'm working on so basically I'm just recording data and trying to figure things out and that's the goal for the day so Elijah here is gonna actually hold the laptop while I read the CAN bus data from the car and we're gonna take this thing for a couple of quick bursts and record some data Okay. all right come jump on in this side let's do this okay so I've got data recording coming in from the CAN bus and you can see this guy's going from 50 to 5f and that is my one C2 message all right every 10 milliseconds and I'm just reading one of the messages on the network and then replying every time it pings the can bridge at every 10 milliseconds so I didn't have to do any timing it's just natural all right let's go for a power drive I'm pretty low on battery charge but this will work we'll be fine let's go for it okay Elijah I think we're all set up ready to go wait got e-pedal on which means it'll do a full regen and a full break we're just gonna do a soft one I don't want to go too crazy first time out. Look it. Boom. All right. And then I'm going to tell you when to stop it. Here we go. It's very wobbly. Okay, go ahead and stop it. Perfect. We got full power out of it that time. 
Okay. Wow. Let me save that one when we get back here. What's the file name? That one is that one. Push the P. Alright, I don't know if it's charging with my new cam bridge. Might have to put my old one back on. Oh no, it is charging. Okay. Wow, that was exhausting. Huh. Let's see what the battery cells show. It thinks it was dead, but these cell voltages are still fairly high but we'll let it charge and I'll move it up further that was funny charging 2 kilowatts alright alright boys and girls so Got her in here charging. <laughs> that was exhausting. Basically, what we've proven today is that it does work, and we can get it to work, and things do what we ask it to do with this can bridge modification. And uh, yeah, got our single light down there flashing, and it works. So, pretty cool. Uh, I've been working on a lot of other things. I have another story to tell you about this wristband on my hand. I was going to do that first, but I think I'll do that second. So there's your update. If you're wondering what the heck I'm doing with this madness all ripped apart like this, uh, trying to get this car to do exactly what I want with the old battery controller, and then uh, and then I'm going to rip everything out of this car and do something with it. That's what I'm doing. So, hope you guys are having a great day. God bless you guys. Have a uh, wonderful weekend. Peace and love. God bless. Have a good day. And as always, read the Bible more. Later.